Hi, I'm Dylan Murway and I'll present to you how my family can save resources in these three key areas, electricity, water, and transportation. In electricity, the highest areas of electricity that were used were in our entertainment system, such as our Roku's. Our lights, such as mainly our lamps, and our gaming consoles, such as our PlayStation 3 and Xbox 360. Areas our family can reproduce are in those areas. How can we reduce them, you ask? Simple. This part is mostly based off me, but ways I can improve in saving electricity is by simply turning things off if I'm not using them, instead of walking out to go do something. 45 seconds later think, oh, I forgot to turn that off. Also, use our lamps on low power. For example, our three-level lamp in the living room has three different levels. One level, which is one group of lights. Another level, which is a different group of lights. A third level, which is all of them at once. Or off. Instead of using the level where we light all the lamps at once, use our lamp on one switch. If we do that, we would save 75 bucks a year. If you have an alternative way to light up your room, such as Christmas lights you don't normally use, use them. The ones I have hung up in my room run off a 125 watt fuse versus 150 watt bulb for my other lamp. Water. Two of the things in our house that use the most water are our washers and dryers and our showers. Our washer uses 60 gallons of water and our shower is in second with 40 gallons of water used. Here are ways we can improve in that aspect. Take shorter showers. The average American shower uses 17.2 gallons and lasts for 8.2 minutes at an average flow rate of 2.1 gallons per minute. If our shower is equipped with an on-off switch, which all of them do, use that while you're soaping and shampooing. Some shower heads, especially those in newer homes, such as my apartment, use a shower he- head with that uses 2.5 gallons of water. It will save water in your home. Shower heads are inexpensive and they start at less than five bucks. Reducing hot water saves energy because our hot water has less work to do. Transportation, here are our three cars. We own three cars and we did not take any flights in this past year. The first car we own is my car, which is a 2002 Chevrolet Cavalier. That gets 25 miles per gallon city and 33 miles per gallon on the highway. The initial odometer reading when we first bought it was 168,884. After 24 hours it is 169,450 miles. After 24 hours, it was 169,504. After two days, the mile odometer read 169,549. My dad owns a 1994 Saturn SL2 that he commutes to Commerce City with. His SL2 is equipped with a manual transmission, which gets better fuel economy and gets 28 miles per hour. My mom's car. My mom owns a 1995 Saturn SL2 wagon, which, like my dad's car, gets 28 miles per gallon. The initial odometer reading for my mom's car read 91,300 when I first checked the odometer. After 24 hours, it read 91,401. Total mileage after 24 hours, 91,401. After two days, the odometer read 91,465. Ways we can improve in transportation. All three of the cars we own are relatively fuel efficient, getting around 30 miles to gallon. 
However, the gas that is used to power our cars is harmful to the environment because of the CO2 release to the, into the air. And from the waste from our gas and cars are toxic to the environment. The coal releases too much CO2 at a faster rate than it can, it can be converted into oxygen. Another way we can solve our transportation problems, carpool. Carpool is one way to reduce the amount of gas we use because carpooling takes two cars using gas, releasing pollution and costing money, and shrinks it down to just one car which reduces gas usage and the pollution in the air. Those are some of the major ways we can reduce our usage of natural resources.